Hello, 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 everybody. This is Ava with Stitching in the Interlake. How's everyone doing today? Well, today is the 19th of January 2024. 2024, yes. Today is Kathy Miller Porter's birthday. So please, everyone... Do a shout out there to Kathy, wishing her a happy birthday today. Okay, so I am working here on Firebird Sampler. And yesterday I was able to get the um, alphabet done. So now I'm going to start on the letters and I'm going to start over here because this is where I can see. Okay. So, yeah, I'm very pleased with this. Now, this color that I'm working with is, I believe, 3768. Yep, 3768. So... And this is a non-variegated uh, thread. And I'm just I'm just loving this how this is turning out. This is turning out so pretty. And you can find this design on Tinsel Cross Stitch. Um, their Etsy store. Okay, and it was on sale. I don't know if it's still on sale, but I fell in love with this one when I saw it. And I waited and waited and waited, and then it was on sale, and I thought, ah, you know what? I think I'm going to get it. And it's not that big. You know, and especially like if you use this gridded fabric or you can grid your own fabric, it really does make a difference. It absolutely, it does. And um, I happen to like this gridded fabric. So I have yet to uh, really kind of grid my own fabric, but I may have to do that. I got some designs coming up that I want to do. And um, can this be used for the January challenge of welcome I know if I saw this, samplers are usually very welcoming in their nature. You know, they bring peace when you see them, usually, unless you have something that's very vulgar. But uh, these ones here that I do are very, very welcoming and very warm and... Um, yeah, you just you just feel it. Okay, so one, two, three. So oh yeah, I'm I'm loving this. I'm loving this. I'm basically doing my own colors. Just whatever it is that I feel. And I think I'm going to use this for the Firebird. Because I think that's a nice, bright, fiery orange. So. Oops here so it is warming up outside and um, I've noticed that 
uh, my red poles are out there. They're kind of a finch like, but um, they've got a little bit of a red breast to them, hence the name red poles. And uh, there's quite a group of them. The males have more of a red chest than um, than the females do. So, and once I'm done this, then Juliet and I we are going to go uptown. I have to get the parcel ready for Christina to send out in the mail. But my first stop will be the credit union to check about my account and why why it is that my password doesn't work and it which I never changed it I never changed it so I'm not sure what happened so but because I was so sick with the migraine that I could not, there was no way I could talk to someone on the phone. There's no way. It uh, was very difficult. When I do videos, you know, or video chats, that's different. But when I have to sit there and I have to, you know, I, I just close my eyes and it, I just forget what I'm saying and, and that. So, yeah. Let's, let's go this way and this way. And I'm going to do this and whoops, wait a minute. So I have one, two, three, two, one, two, three, four. Mm. Oh, oh, goodness gracious. Okay. Yes, and despite the fact that I have these lines, I was kind of misreading it. So, I'll put this down here. But Miss Twinkle Toes decided that 4.30 was a good time to get me up. And even though I was really, really tired, I did not, I, I couldn't fall back asleep. When it's around 3, I can, but not when it's 4.30, no. And yesterday afternoon, my migraine was just running rampant. It was horrible. It was horrible. And um, so uh, yeah, it was not pleasant. I was even contemplating whether or not to get into bed and just lay there and close my eyes. Of course, I didn't because I, um, 
I, uh, I kind of push myself not to. What is this one? Okay. Here. Oh, frog, frog, frog. I don't know why the frog comes to visit me. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention. I was not paying attention. At least I didn't get too far. It would have been a nightmare had I gotten way up here. Okay. So, isn't that lovely watching somebody else frog? <laughs> and you're thinking to, to yourself, I know, I can hear it. I'm glad I don't have to do that. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Do, 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 do. That and that. This Z here, I feel like putting a line through it. I might do that yet. Because I always put a line through my Zs and my Sevens. It's just something I've done for most of my life. I've just done that. So, okay. Now, let's go back to this. Got to go down one. Okay. Now we start all over again. Okay. And there. So I received a letter from Manitoba Pharmacare that I have been approved again for my Ajovi. So I'm I'm good again for I don't know how long till November again, I guess. Hopefully so. So uh, yeah, now I've got it right. Yeah. Now I got it right. So, what did I watch today? Not a whole heck of a lot. I watched I watched a few unbaggings. I don't know who they're by, but yeah. I watched Natalia there. She did an unbagging from New Craft Day and she ended up getting two of the same thing and to me they look the same. I'm just wondering. She said that they were the same size, but I'm just wondering if it might be that one is an 11 count even though it says 14 I'm wondering if that's the case but I don't know because I don't have them in front of and I've been like that where I've ordered duplicates and um, yeah but that's okay that just means that I have something to do another gift away or send to someone or whatever. So, yep. 
Now this is looking better. Yeah. So, have you been trying to pick out your um, February challenge, which is fantasy fairy tale? Now, this could come under fairy tale because it's got the phoenix, right? So, that is something because it um, it um, I don't believe the phoenix is an actual bird but the whole story behind the phoenix that you know well if you watch Harry Potter in that right And uh, so the the phoenix dies in a ball of fire and then awakens as a new bird, a new phoenix. So... Yeah. So there's number two finished. Now, if you do something like this, you know, you can... You can do a sampler, you can do whatever, and you can pick whatever colors that you want. Nobody says that you have to do any design in the color that it says. You can do it in whatever color that you like. You know. And there is nothing wrong with that. I know I worked at a cross-stitching shop years and years ago after I got injured, and I did volunteer work there. And the reason why I did was because I, I needed to kind of fill in my time and she would do free framing for me, for uh, me working in the store. So, yeah. So it was a win-win. Yes, it was. All right, so. So, yeah. But I am going to uh, work on the teacup design for sure. Um, I think I'll, if I don't get this done, I will uh, kind of alternate between them. So, but 
it is for the, um, I don't know if you call it a challenge, but something, that 2024 is the year of um, completing projects. Right? So you can grab some of your old whips, the older the better, and get them done. Of course, that could mean it's a lot harder when you have to, um, when you don't have the pattern anymore. And believe me, I know that. Yes, for sure. I might have to go out there after and put some more of that bird seed out. There's a nut hatch out there, and I don't know if he was looking for the. Yeah, he's looking for the uh, sunflower seeds. But of course, those darn blue jays come in there and they just fling seeds all over the place and don't have a care in the world. And uh, they just mess everything up. So... And Lily Bell, she's doing okay. She's laying there. She's got her tongue half out. Looks so cute. So, yeah. But, yeah, if you have a birthday, well, you do have a birthday, but if you would like to post your birth date, you can do that on the Facebook group, Stitching in the Interlake. And uh, there's a special message there. And so far, I've been marking everybody down. Um, and I hope I don't miss anybody. But, uh, yeah, just as a way to acknowledge your birthdays. And, I mean, we should all celebrate our birthdays, right? Because we have been blessed with this life that God has given us. And we should always um Pray for everyone from womb to tomb. I thought that was such a nice saying. Yep. Well, I guess that's it. So I will finish up this alpha or these numbers. I will do that. Um, today I know I do want to make something but I'm not sure yet I think I want to make a like a cherry cheesecake or something I got a box of these shredded wheat crumbs and I'm going to try and use that as a base instead of graham cracker and just see how that works so I'm always one open for something different and new so all right everybody I guess that's it so may you be happy may you be healthy may you be well may God bless you this day and every day God loves you and so do I. And so does Miss Twinkle Toes. You sell me Lily Bell and Jonah, who's up in the cat condo. 
And if you want to become a part of the Facebook group, all you need to do is give me the name of one of my two sidekicks. And either myself or um, the other administrator, Christina, uh, will let you in. So, uh, yeah. So, I hope this is... I think this is looking pretty good. Yes, yes, yes. All right, everybody, I guess that's it. Please remember on Sunday there is no live. No live. Okay? I will do a video, though. Thank you, Jesus, for being my Lord and Savior. Thank you for saving me from my sins. Thank you for being there in my darkest and deepest moments. Thank you for loving me like you do. Thank you for caring enough for me that you would die on the cross for me so that my sins would be forgiven. And that's a prayer. I pray for all of you as well. All right, everyone. Have a great Friday, and we will see you tomorrow. God willing, of course. Toodle-littles, everybody!